Good morning. Today is Wednesday, April 15th. Um, so I'm going to go over some of the things that you are to work on today. Uh, first off, for English language arts, uh, we're going to be doing something a little bit different this for this three-week period than what we did the last three-week period. Um, last time we kind of just kept on going with the book every day. Uh, for this three weeks, um, we're going to do one chapter of the book on Monday and Tuesday, and then another chapter of the book on Thursday and Friday. That leaves us Wednesday. So on Wednesdays, uh, we're going to be just kind of doing some other, uh, either a paired passage or a read natural. Okay. So most of you will have a read natural um, to do today, uh, this Wednesday. And you'll, then you'll also have read naturals to do next Wednesday and the following Wednesday. Okay. Your read natural for today is called the Taj Mahal. That should be the first thing you see in your Wednesday packet for today. Um, others of you who do not have that have a paired passage instead. Okay. Now the paired passage that you would have um, for today has two passages, one of which is called Training on an Ant Hill, and the other which is called The Means of Survival. Okay. Um, so. You should, you will not, you should not have both of those in your packet for today. You should either have one or the other. So for your Wednesday, April 15th cover sheet, look for either the read natural or the paired passage. You should not have both of them. Okay. Just complete the one that you have in your packet. Okay. Now, both of these are very similar. Uh, you're going to read a passage or two um, about the topic that the passage is about. Okay, and then there's just going to be a lot of different comprehension type questions um, that goes along with each one of the passages. Okay, now the next thing I want to mention, you are definitely welcome to complete these on the hard copy sheets that you were given in your um, bundle of things. Okay, but if you would rather, and you do have access to the internet and you do have access to a computer, I did make uh, Google Forms for both of these as well. Okay. So if you would rather complete the assignment part of this on a Google form on your Chromebook or computer on your Google classroom account, you may do that if that's something you like better or you're more comfortable with. If you don't want to do that, that's fine. Just use the um, hard copies that are in your bundle of things. It doesn't matter to me. You can do either way, whatever you want to do. Okay. Now, both of these are very similar from the standpoint that you're going to be reading a passage and you're going to be answering questions. So my advice to you, and I, I gave you this advice, there's also going to be a video for each one of these that you can click on. Um, I'll read each one of these to you, whichever one you have, okay? Um, so you can find those on YouTube and you can find those on the Remind and the Google Classroom. Um, so I'll go over those expectations in those videos as well, but I'll go over them right now too. I think the easiest thing to do for either one is to go and look at your questions first. Look at what the questions are asking you, okay? Uh, what are some key words you might want to pay attention for as you read? Uh, what is some key information that the questions are going to ask you about that you want to look for as you read? Do that first. That way, when you actually read the passages, you have that mindset and you have that idea of, oh, that's what I'm supposed to be looking for, okay? And that will help you to, um, answer the questions correctly and probably a lot more efficiently without as much time as well. Okay. That would be my strategy to take. You don't have to do that, but that's what I would do. Okay. So that's language arts today. You'll either have your read natural or the paired passage. Okay. Um, both of these have kind of an extra assignment an enrichment activity at the bottom. Um, for the read natural, it says enrichment activity. For the paired passage, it's number 10. Uh, you do not have to do those if you don't want, but if, if you would think they're interesting and you want to do that, you are welcome to. Okay, but those are optional. All right, let me just look and see if there's anything else that I think I need to tell you about those. Uh, you know, for the short answer questions, make sure you're using complete sentences, whether you're typing it on a Google form or whether you're writing it on the hard copy. Uh, I think that's pretty much it, but really look closely at the questions too. Look at the language of the question. Uh, so, you know, you're, you know, you're finding 
the information that you're supposed to find to answer the question correctly. Okay, moving on then uh, to social studies. So this is really your first time you've had other work to do for social studies this three weeks. Uh, and it's, I probably should have done this in your last three weeks, but I didn't, so we're gonna do it now, okay? But you, for today you have a short little quiz. It's one page, not just a front of one page with three questions about the Greeks. And you, re you read three passages about the Greeks last for the last three weeks. Now I realize that you all probably turned those passages in when you turned in your work on Monday, okay? So in your bundle of things, you should have um, a stapled, few stapled piece of paper that have those um, passages in them. So you are welcome to use those. You're welcome to reread them and use them to help you complete this social studies quiz for today, okay? Um, so I'll just go ahead and show you what those look like here real quick. Uh, but this should be in a stapled packet in your, the bundle of your things. So the first one that you read last time was called um, Ancient Greek Olympics. Okay, so that should be in there. Uh, and then you should have Daily Life in Athens. And you should also have the Peloponnesian War, Spartan Warriors and the Peloponnesian War, okay? So you should have a, a stapled packet in your bundle of things that has all three of those passages in there that you are welcome to go back, kind of reread and help you if you need it. You might not even need the help if you need it to help you to complete this quiz, okay? So the quiz looks like this. And uh, pretty much there's just three kind of short answer type uh, questions, okay? So make sure you have your name at the top. Then the directions say, for, for the questions with lines, please write with complete sentences. For questions with tables, you do not need to write with complete sentences. You may use the passages while taking the quiz. So those passages, like I said, should be in a staple packet in your, um, in your packet somewhere, okay? I don't think they're with your day three things. You might have to dig around a little bit for them. Might, they might actually be toward the back. But your first question is, why were the Olympics important to Greek society or their way of life? So you could probably find some information about that in the one that is called Ancient Greek Olympics. Okay, so that was number one. That's one you should write with complete sentences. Number two is a table uh, where you're going to kind of do a Venn diagram. Uh, the next passage talks about their style of government the um, in uh, Greek Greece sorry uh, it talked about a monarchy talked about an oligarchy and it also talked about democracy so um, kind of use that table there to contrast how all of those things are different okay I guess it's not a true um, Venn diagram because we're not really saying how they're the same we're gonna I want you to write in a couple things about how those three are different from one another Okay. Then your last one uh, is kind of the same thing. You'd find this one probably in the last passage, the Spartans in the Peloponnesian, Peloponnesian War. Um, and this one says, in what ways were Athenian society and the Spartan society different from one another? And then I have three um, little numbers there. So try to find three ways that each one of those was different from each other. So how their society was different or the way that they lived. So that could be like, um, you know, what kind of jobs they did or what did they do when they got older? What were, um, what were the roles of women in their society? What was their government system like? Anything that has to deal with their way of life and how they were different from one another. Okay, so that is the social studies quiz. There's three questions, and you are welcome to use um, those passages that should be in your packet of things um, to help you with that. Okay, after this, we're going to be moving on to um, the ancient Indians from India, and then we'll talk about a little bit about the ancient Chinese as well for this three weeks. That's what the focus will be on once we get done with this today. Okay. Uh, also keep working on your journal. Okay. Um, you know, I know 
not quite as much has been happening lately, but um, you know, still the things that are going on with the virus are definitely impacting our way of life for sure. So, um, you know, if you if you've been doing anything different than what you normally would do in in your normal everyday life, it might be something to note, uh, you know, in your journal. So, that's pretty much it for today. Um, tomorrow we'll get back into the Watsons Go to Birmingham, and we'll go from there. So. I hope you all have a wonderful Wednesday. It looks really nice and sunny out, but I looked at my phone and it is only like 30 degrees. So unfortunately it might be another day to kind of stay inside a little bit, but if you have a chance, bundle up and go get some exercise outside, okay? Have a wonderful day.